Welcome to a challenge log that was sent to me by Leon's Logpad and pinned by West Coast Picks, the Bungie. Both of you, thank you very much. Here is the key, it has uh, a very big bow. Um, it's a pretty good bidding, short, long, short, long, middle, short. So it's very challenging, especially with this keyway. You can theoretically work from the end of this keyway with a 15 thousandths and uh, a pointy tip, but it's not giving a lot of feedback and you cannot apply a, a lot of torque on the block. So I will try to pick it from the side. And I picked it twice already, uh, counterclockwise and clockwise, before turning on the camera. Uh, yeah, now I want to repeat my luck, hopefully. So I turn it, uh, let's say, uh, counterclockwise and I start with a um, hybrid pick from Sparrows and let's see one is binding but only only a bit so that's everything I get out of one and you hear it's springy again That was, I believe that was two. Now I'm on three. Okay, two clicks from three. And the rest, ah, and that was six, I believe. Yeah, I think it's a six pinner. Let's check one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that was six. And the pick is also very deep inside, so this must be six. Six gave me a good click, so let's start from the, from the front one. Two, yeah, two is very deep down. I think that was the long key pin. Maybe I'm not. Maybe the the, the pick is not deep enough for three because it it starts getting to to rotate back, but uh, it stops. So maybe that's not uh, deep enough. I change picks to a deforest. It's a pretty good pick. So that's that's two, that's the long key pin, and now I'm on three. Ah, looks like a teep. Oh, or a, or a spool. Now I'm getting counter rotation. Or is this two? Oh, I think it was two and I overset. Yeah, I released tension and it came back, so that was probably two. And now I've got a click from three and counter rotation from three. But it stops again, so maybe maybe even that is not deep enough. So I change picks to an even deeper hook from Peterson. Try to get it in. I think I overset two. I released and it got back. So now I'm on three. I think that's everything I can get get out of three. Somehow, it's now springy and stops. Uh, I leave it alone. So let's see, C four, four is actually also giving feedback. Maybe there was a click, a good click from four. And here I'm on six. Okay. Hmm, I think I'm constantly oversetting. Okay, I'm not quite sure in which state this lock is, so I release tension a little bit and brush with my deforest to see if it recovers from a possible overset state. Ah. Okay, you have seen I release tension and it dropped into a pretty deep fall set, so it was probably an overset, so let's see if I can make out which pin needs to be picked next. And that was 3 or 4 and the 
quarter and even more. So if you know West Coast picks, he likes T pins, and maybe we're lucky. Just need to release tension a little bit and poke around to find the the T pin. Maybe this pick is not deep enough. Again, change picks to this. I'm not applying tension, I'm just holding the plug with my tension wrench. And here I'm getting counter rotation. But so what is this? That's number one. And it's open. So wasn't the T-pin, was a spool at number one. All right, let's open it up and see what West Coast Picks has put in this lock. It has one of these easy to open uh, screw type uh, bags, uh, the spring loaded pin. There are tools for this, but um, if you do it right, it's easy. So, it's still picked and just need a follower. And slide it through. All right, here is, ah, that's the spring from the uh, retaining pin. And here we have the plug. Oh, there is an interesting plug modification at one. But let's quickly check the uh, key. Yeah, all pins are in and working. So maybe that's designed to get a very deep fall set. I'm curious to see the driver. So now let's get oh wrong direction. Standard. Oh, very nice. Double serrated and spoolish part at the end. Double serrated. Nasty T pin. Triple serrated with a T pin part at the end. And double serrated. Again, quickly check the core. We can see that there is threading in 2, 4, F, 2, 5 and 6 and we've got this slot filed in the plug at number 1. Let's see what uh, driver pin belongs to number 1. So, um, he marked it already with an F, very mindful, thank you. Yeah, that's cool, look at that. That's a pretty cool pin. Um, let's see what comes next. Another spoolish type pin with a sharp end. And we've got a pin and pin in number three. West Coast Picks makes awesome pins. Wow. And here I messed it up. It was again a pin and pin not quite sure maybe like so then we have five is a T pin with a spool and wah, we have a multi-purpose pin in number six wanna see which springs are in this lock because they seem to be different. That's a copper spring or some kind. Maybe also um, it's possible that it's a br brass um, and the, the coating. That's probably a steel spring. Uh, and we have, what I can see here, we have modifications in the chambers of the Bible also. So we have a different type of steel spring in number 6. A tiny spring in number 
five and another different one in number uh, four. Okay, let's check the chambers in the Bible. I think we've got threading here in six, five. That's smooth. Yeah, only six and five are threaded. No, two is also threaded. So two, five and six are threaded. Same chambers as in the plug. All right, and here is the amazing pin, pin work done by West Coast Picks. Look at that. Wonderful pins. For the key pins we have standard serrated with a spoolish part in a sharp end. Two serrations on number two. We have a very cool uh, T pin here in uh, number four uh, serrated with a spoolish uh, T pin part at the end in number five and six is a double serrated. Okay, the drivers very deep spool with a serration spoolish type driver in number two. Then we have a multi part uh, pin and pin in number three with a T pin, a serration, this multi part and spool and serration. <laughs> Great pin, wow. Then we have this interesting combination. I'm not sure if this was uh, meant to be like this. Um, I, I, I pulled it out like that, but I assume that this belongs to here. Yeah. And then this goes around like that with the T pin part towards the shielding. The trick is when you pick. Um, number four and this goes in the shear line then it makes you believe that this chamber is picked because the key pin goes down and has uh, no spring tension at all I think um, well, I think it should be assembled like this this probably makes more sense alright then we have almost the same type of driver in number five spool and uh, T pin part and well that's a double serrated or double spoolish driver in number six here we have all the different kind of springs yeah that was a pretty fun lock to pick and again very cool work on the pins done by West Coast picks all right so uh, Lock, um, Leon's lock pen. <laughs> Thank you very much for sending this uh, great lock to me and West Coast Picks. Thank you very much for pinning it. And everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye bye.